Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are future engineers come to learn structural design. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to insert a steeple line for this kind of structure. Okay, now looking at this structure right now, this is a warehouse building as you can see it right now. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to insert a steeple line for a curve truss just like this. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Ekidel, I will say that you should click on, this, on the subscribe button so that you don't miss some of my coming videos. Okay, so let us get started right now. Okay, right now, to begin the insertion of our steeple lines, the first thing we're going to do right now is to click on the steeple line icon as you can see it here. So you click on the steeple line icon as you can see it right here, and then you will have to select two trusses. So once you click on the steeple line icon, you then select two trusses. So I want to insert my steeple line between this truss and this truss. So I'll just click on this truss and then click on this truss right now. A dialog box will appear right now, which the first thing you do is to select the section or the size of your of your steeple line. Now I want to use UPN. So I want to use UPN 100. So I'll just click on UPN after choosing the code I want to use. In this case, I'm using this code, European Non, which is called Eurocode. So I'll click on Eurocode, then click on UPN, the size of steel which I want to use. And then I'll now click on the size of the steel, which is UPN 100. And I'll click on Select. Now, next thing again, I'll now click on just this one. I don't want a double angle, I want just a single UPN. I don't want a double UPN. UPN. I will now click on this and then click on this. Now, next thing to do right now is to now select this spacing. You can see it here. They want to, this software right now is trying to give you the spacing of these four lines based by the, by the truss joint, but I'll just click here and say, give me by spacing. So in this place right now, I will now have my spacing right here. I have a default spacing of 1000, but I want to use my spacing of four lines, the spacing between two four lines, to be 1100. So I'll just put in my spacing here. And then right now, on this place right now, left, left cantilever length and right cantilever length, I will impute here 100 and also here 100 millimeter. And then right now, next thing to do right now is to just click on OK. Now you can, you, now you can, you can see the first that we have inserted our first pull lines as you can see it right now. The first pull line has been inserted. Now, once you insert your first pull line, all the settings that you have done has been made automatic. So right now, the next thing, if you want to insert other pull lines right now, you just click on the pull line right now and then select the two trusses. I want to insert the pull line between these two trusses right now. I'll click on this and then click on this and then I'll click on OK because already everything has been set um, on, on default. I'll just click on OK right now. So right now again, I'll also click again on steep pull lines to, to put my pull lines between these two trusses. I'll click on pull lines right here and then select this truss and this truss and I'll click on OK. This one doing OK because we have already set these things as you can see it here. So it is now taking the new settings which we have made as the, as, as the default space as the default spacing and also settings for all, for all the pull lines which are going to insert right now. So I'll click on OK and then again I click on this right now and then I click again at this point and also at this point and I'll click on OK. Okay so right now you can now see what we have gotten. So remaining the other one right now, to also insert a steeple line for this also, I click on this, on this icon steeple line and click on this point and, and select this stitch rows and also select this stitch rows and then I'll click on OK. So you can now see how we have successfully inserted all our power lines. So this is how to insert a steeple line right here in Prota structure. Okay, now. Since we are done with the insertion of steeple lines, before we, before we now conclude this, this lecture for today, I will say that in my next video, I will be showing you how to also insert this curve truss right here and also to give you a proper setting on the kind of um, sizes that you're going to use. And also, we will also have to perform a, a design for this for this warehouse, as you can see it right now. And also, I will show you how to um, create this kind of um, office for the warehouse also. Now, if you have not yet subscribe to my channel Ekidel, I will say you should just click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss most of my coming videos. Okay, so thank you and then watch out for the next video.